Use the Groovy Groover to decorate the outsides of your fruits and vegetables. Simply run the tool across and then slice the vegetable. Here we're doing a cucumber. Make slices on an angle. Makes great decorations for soup, salads, or any kind of vegetable or relish plate. Use the Groovy Groover on any type of vegetable or fruit. Here we're using it on a squash. Slice the vegetable on an angle. Give it that nice oriental cut, perfect for steaming. It's always nice to arrange your vegetables in a decorative manner. To create a nice plate effect, alternate the colors. Here we're using cucumbers and yellow squash. Use the tool on a carrot. Again, using the tool is very, very simple. Rather than just peeling, use the Groovy Groover to give that decorative effect on all your fruits and vegetables. Slice your carrots on an angle before cooking. It's very simple to make a beautiful plate Arrange the cucumbers, carrots, and squash. The carrot curler and groovy groover are great used in conjunction with one another. First, use the groovy groover to score the outside of your carrot. Now, use the carrot inside the carrot curler. It's like having a pencil sharpener for your vegetables. Just turn and roll the carrot up to make a flower and decoration. This is great for a tray, a salad. Use the carrot curler not just on carrots, but on all types of vegetables. For example, here we're using it on a squash. Of course, you will make a yellow decorative flower using it on a squash. If you were to use it on a zucchini, of course, small baby zucchini, you'll make green flowers as well. Now I like using the Groovy Groover and Carrot Curler on a parsnip. Parsnips are white. You could use it then to make white flowers. Just turn the vegetable in the carrot curler and you'll make a white flower. To get a dramatic effect, use a little bit of food coloring. Food coloring in water any type of food coloring works just fine, depending on the colors that you'd like to make. Here we're making a pink flower. Of course, the edges will be pink, and the body of the flower will be white. If you don't want to use food coloring, you could also use a red beet. Use Mother Nature's paintbrush to brush the outside of the vegetable so you can get red edges on your white vegetable as well. It's nice for special occasions to use different colors. For example, if it's a 4th of July picnic or get together, you can make flowers with red edges, a white flower, and flowers with blue edges. St. Patrick's Day, they could be green edges. If you're using it for a particular occasion with a color scheme, of course, use the appropriate color scheme as well. The waffle cutter is great. I'll first show you on a potato. Run it straight up and down. 
you will not make a waffle cut. You'll in fact make a ripple cut. You see the ridges? That's great for potato chips that way. To make the waffle, at the top, give a quarter of a turn of the vegetable. Cut down, up, quarter of a turn, slice down, up, quarter of a turn, down. Each time you turn it, you'll give it a cross cut. That's how we make our waffle cut potatoes or our waffle fries that way. Everyone loves the crocheted vegetables. They cook in half the time and they have half the calories. Now, try it on a zucchini as well. Straight up and down, you will not make a waffle cut, you'll make the ripple cut. Great for a vegetable platter. If you go up, give a quarter of a turn, cut down, up, quarter of a turn, cut down, you will make the waffle cut this way. Now this is great to serve because it adds interesting texture and flavor to your food. You see they have the holes. Now that was on a zucchini. I like to do it on a radish. Color, texture, and taste. Those are the three key ingredients to any good cooking. And using the waffle cutter, you change the color, the texture, and even the taste. I love to put radishes in my salads this way. Using the waffle cutter on an apple is fantastic. It's how I like to serve apples. First, peel your apple with a Swiss Pro peeler. Use the waffle cutter. Now you increase the juiciness, flavor, and taste because you're increasing the surface area when you serve your food like that. They're extra juicy, and boy, they don't last very long when you put them out on a fruit platter when you have crocheted vegetables like this. The safety grater is a wonderful addition to any kitchen. You won't hurt your hands or your knuckles. You won't cut your fingers either side. It's completely safe to use. Rather than this old knuckle buster, each side creates a different texture for your food. Use your carrots now for carrot cakes. Perfect for shredded carrot as well. If you want to use it for coleslaw, cut your cabbage head in half, then cut it in quarters. Now just run it across the grater. Salt and pepper, vinegar and oil, French or Russian dressing, you'll make beautiful coleslaw using the grater. comes out perfectly fine every time. If you want to use the potato for hash brown potatoes, use the safety grater the same way. A little butter, margarine, and a skillet. Go all the way down and you won't hurt your hands. No waste as well. Now, turning it over, it'll give you a different type of cut. Use it for potatoes, for potato pancakes, or potato puree. First, use the Swiss Pro Peeler to peel your potato. When you run the potato over this side, you won't make shreds like we did for hash browns. This will create potatoes for potato pancakes or potato puree.
Use the same for carrots. This is how we make our carrots for carrot cake. Also, use it to create your carrot puree as well. You can even use it for baby food or it comes out so fine, you have your carrot juice. Now the best part is cleaning it. Wash it, rinse it, let it air dry, you're out of the kitchen that fast. If you've ever tried cleaning one of these old knuckle busters, you have to be a toothpick engineer to try to get it clean. Introducing Chef Harvey's Fruit Kebabs. The tubes come in two shapes, one round and one square. There's also a patented hole at the end. That hole is where your skewers will slide into to create your kebabs. The best thing about the tools, they're dishwasher safe and so easy to use. The kids love to use them. Rather than using a melon ball for your fruit salad, use the kebabs. I'm gonna first show you how to make easy fruit salad. Just take the tool, place it right in. This is the way that you can get a fruit salad which has uniform cuts each and every time. You'll make a bowl full of fruit this way in a matter of minutes. Use it on pineapple as well, honeydew. I even like to use it on banana. Just cut slices out of your banana, and this is how I make my instant mixed fruit salad. First, I'll take a little bit of watermelon, then honeydew, pineapple. Now let's add some banana. It looks so nice when you serve it this way because each piece of fruit is the same exact size. Fruit salad looks spectacular when served like this. Use the kebab to create chunks or sticks of melon or pineapple or solid fruit. It's wonderful to serve this way, especially when your fruits are in season. Pineapples are done the same way. Take the tool, place it right in. This is great used on the side of drinks as well. For example, if you're making banana daiquiris or pina coladas, it's nice to put this as a garnish along with the drink. Slide your skewer right into the hole, press the plunger, and now you have your stick of watermelon or pineapple. It's also nice to display it for serving just slide it right into a piece of pineapple as well, the whole pineapple. You can then make four or five of these up and serve them the same way. Watermelon's done the same exact way. Take your tool, place it right in. This is how we're gonna make our stick of watermelon. Slide it right out. Now take the plunger and just slightly press. Take your skewer, slide it right into the hole. I'm using a 10 inch skewer. Slide that right into the hole, and now slide the plunger straight through. And you have your stick of watermelon. Kids love this, especially in the summertime. You can serve this the same way. Use the kebabs with different melons to create different color kebabs. I'm first gonna take a piece of watermelon, then honeydew, now a little bit of cantaloupe, now back to watermelon. 
and a little more honeydew. Slightly press the top again. Take one of your skewers, slide that in the hole. Slide that out. And now you have your fruit kebab. When you serve food that looks like this, I guarantee it won't last very long. Use your square kebab to create canapes, deli meats, cheeses, breads, wonderful for parties or hors d'oeuvres. Whatever you'd like to cut, I'm first going to do a little cheese. Of course, different color cheese will create different color patterns. Now a little bit of lunch meat, bologna, salami, turkey. Take a toothpick, slide a toothpick. Wonderful for, uh, for finger sandwiches as well. There's your canapé. We'll just use a piece of bread as a base for our display. Use the kebab with some bread. I'm gonna use a little pumpernickel bread. Now we'll add a little cheese. You can make your cheese sandwiches the same exact way. Yellow cheese, white cheese. Now back to the bread. Now you have that layered effect. You have your brown, yellow, white, and brown. This is nice served with a little bit of mustard. You can always use something to decorate the ends. For example, olives, black olives, green olives, or small pickles or pickled onions to make your canapes. Use the round on your fruits. A little watermelon, cantaloupe. Now we make what I call floaters. This is great to put in drinks. If you're making any type of margarita or specialty drink, melon madness, bartenders love using them because you place them right in the drink. They let them roll around on the bottom there. Use the kebabs also for desserts. It's great using on pound cake. I have some lemon pound cake and chocolate pound cake. First thing we're gonna do is make some slices of the pound cake. This is a nice way to serve your desserts. We'll make a couple slices of the lemon pound cake and a couple slices of the chocolate pound cake as well. Use the tool. First, we'll start with a lemon pound cake. Of course, I like using the different color pound cake because that's how you get the dramatic effect. Chocolate, back to lemon, back to chocolate, now back to the lemon. You can do this as many times as you'd like, depending on how large you want to make your kebab. Take a skewer. Here's where Chef Harvey's patented hole really comes in handy. Just slide right down just press the plunger, and you see this will come right out. Now, it's nice to finish this off with a cherry, a maraschino cherry, either red or green. It's a wonderful way to serve a dessert. The six-piece carving set is a wonderful addition to anybody's garnishing tools. The set comes with instructions and also six pieces. And notice there are actually 12 different sides to cut with. One side are U's, the other side are V's. I'm gonna show you on some radishes that I just made here. And I'll show you how we did that, it's so simple to do. Just take the point of the tool and start at the top of your radish. Follow it all the way around. 
pop it out. Now right on the side, go right behind it and continue making V's all the way around. Right underneath, just make a V and go right behind it with another V. Each of the different shapes and sizes just gives you different variations on the size of the V's you can make. But this technique is the same. Now we're going to take a paring knife and just carve a circle right out behind the V's that I cut. This is a wonderful little radish garnish that we just finish off just by taking our paring knife and carving out any excess This is a great radish display, and so easy to do. Now, let me show you another design that we're gonna be making. Again, use the point to cut off the top. Now, we're just gonna use that same technique, but just at the top of the radish now. Just go all the way around, cutting these one behind each other. Now the only limit to the kinds of creations and designs as you make is your own imagination. Again, we take the V's and we cut the same, using the same technique, we cut off the top. Now we're gonna make a little different design on the side. 